black education in South Africa. A subject much talked about, yet with little public knowledge of the progress which has been made over the years. Good morning, sir. Good morning, teacher. A relationship between teacher and pupil that is based on such a warm note is the cornerstone of all education. It will help the child to make his way through school and university and ultimately to fulfill his role in society. Here at primary school level, the foundation is laid for an education which will provide the basis for whatever the student eventually chooses to study. School readiness programs and a differentiated approach ensure that the potential of every pupil is developed to the full. One only has to watch these children to realize that they are eager for knowledge. The task of the department is to provide for that need. In 1979, the department had about one and a half million pupils under its care, with an annual enrollment increase of approximately 100,000. We ask the Secretary of the Department of Education and Training, Mr. G. J. Rousseau, to tell us about the aims of the department. If we refer to the development in education, I would like to state emphatically that the department is trying to provide education for every black child according to the child's aptitude and ability. To effect this, the Department of Education and Training has administrative, planning and control sections. On the planning side, we have the subject committees which base their syllabi on the common core syllabi used by all education departments. This means that at the end of secondary education, all pupils have to meet the same requirements and standards as pupils of other education departments. More and more pupils reach standard 10 every year. In 1979, 23,400 full-time pupils wrote the standard 10 examination as opposed to only 600 in 1955. Regular meetings are held between the Minister and Secretary of the Department and the Council for Education and Training. Various matters regarding education are discussed and recommendations are made. This council would be happy to hear his views. Many people have felt that too much was expected from the schools and that we need the involvement of the community in the school and that individuals can appeal to bodies that are capable of uh, changing decisions wherever they may have been made. Careful planning is necessary before a modern school building can be erected. In the drawing office of the department, plans for new buildings are finalized. suitable and functional building materials are selected to ensure that communities can be truly proud of their schools. These building programs form an important part of the department's activities. Building teams are constantly busy erecting new institutions of learning where pupils will be prepared for a wide range of future occupations and professions. Progress in education goes hand in hand with the provision of the most modern facilities, including libraries and laboratory. 